Hello everybody. My name is Stephen Darcy. I'm with Go Engineer, Application Engineer, and fellow SolidWorks nerd. And uh, today I wanted to kind of go about modeling up a Y pipe. I had a, a technical support case come in and I got one of the customer's model that he'd been working on. And uh, he had some different ideas on how to go about this. And so you can kind of see they make these things out of plastic and metal, welded up metal pieces and stuff like that. But just modeling the uh, the original shape uh, came to kind of a bit of an issue with them. And uh, so what I thought I'd do is kind of start with uh, some kind of device like this and uh, just go about doing. Now, when I started to model it up, I found it was actually quite easy. So I want to show you that we can actually model it up a couple different ways. And uh, for instance, this way, this is the original uh, part that I got. We'll take a quick look at it. So what you can kind of see what he did is he tried to create uh, everything in the sketch and then he did a revolve about the center line, another revolve about the center line and another one. Well, the issue is when you do this, you actually get some weird little cuts and stuff on the inside. If we do a little section cut, you can kind of see what's going on there. We get some little weird developed areas where one part's coming into the other. So his question was, you know, how do I clear this stuff out? So initially I thought, well, I'll just kind of go with what he's doing. So I offset the uh, the inside surfaces. We deleted the faces of the outside. And then what we did is we trimmed up the inside surfaces to get what we needed. And then we knitted it all back together and we got a solid pipe. And once I did that, I was thinking, okay, there's gotta be an easier way to do that. I mean, this is a fairly simple sketch where it's just kind of like a Y looking shape. And some, some other methods might be a little bit easier. And for, of course there are, this is SolidWorks. So um, next thing I thought was, well, let's just start with some revolves. Instead of actually modeling or revolving them with just that little section, let's re revolve them as solids. So we can use still use the exact same sketch, but what I did is I just took these guys as solid bodies. Once they were solid bodies, then they can join together. And then we could just come in here with a shell command, give it a shell thickness, and then we're done. So revolve was pretty easy, um, but the sketch was a little bit tricky. And every time we had to revolve these, we had to use the selected contours because we had to tell it exactly what contour we actually wanted to revolve. So I had to do this as three separate entities. So then I thought, well, there's probably an easier way than that. And of course that's doing it with sweeps. So sweeps were a little bit easier. Uh, I could use a simpler sketch you can kind of see what I did is I had a normal geometry uh, for these two sections. And then I created a sketch on a work plane. So a circular sketch and then extruded it. Here, let's get rid of the, uh, the shell real quick. And we'll kind of walk you through. So this was my original sweep. And then after I did that sweep, then I did a secondary sweep. This one was created with a circle and then a straight line segment. And then of course, once those were joined together, I have one single solid body and then we could shell that thing out. And then I thought, you know what? 2016, we got the option to do a circular sweep. So what I thought I'd do is just kind of start this one from scratch and just kind of go from, from there. So I'm gonna sketch on the front plane and same kind of thing. I'm just gonna draw three straight lines. I'm holding down my wheel or my mouse. That way it picks up the pen. And I'm not going to worry about uh, dimensioning all these. I'm just going to dimension one just so I have a, a general shape. I want this to be about six inches. And we'll just go from there. So I'm going to finish out of that. And I'm going to go right into the uh, swept bosser base. I'm going to do a circular profile. But the trick here is that I have three lines in my sketch. So SolidWorks doesn't know which of my three lines I actually need to select. So they've gave us an option. If you right click inside there, you can actually right click out here as well and get the selection manager. What that allows us to do is to select individual entities that I need. So in this case, I just want these two. Now, once I say okay out of the selection manager, then it's just gonna use those two for my profile. So we're gonna say that the uh, thing needs to be about three inches and we say okay. So then we just need to turn that sketch on. I'll pre-select it, go back into Sweat Boss or Base. That way it knows I'm using that sketch. And then we'll go back to the selection manager. And this time we're just gonna pick on this guy as well. 
I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Again, make it three inches. And we'll say OK. So then we have our cross section. I only have one sketch that I used. And now I can go into the shell command. Make that a quarter inch. And that looks pretty good. And that is probably the most simplest way that I've found to create a Y pipe. So I hope you enjoyed it. Go to GoEngineer.com. Make sure you like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, this is Steve Darcy. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.